Our help is in the name of the Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Good evening. This evening we celebrate the solemnity of the Christian family. And so let us begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, bless us with the wisdom to praise you in spirit and in truth, so that by following your holy will we may gain eternal salvation. My dear brothers and sisters, let us take a moment, confess our sins to God in ways that we have failed him and our neighbor in thought, word, deed, and omission so that we may worthily participate in this holy sacrifice. Please now make an examination of your conscience. Let's say together the second form of the Confidier found on page 66. I confess to Almighty God in the presence of the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned through my own fault, in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done or failed to do. I ask the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. For your penance, I would ask you to say to our fathers, May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. And may our Lord Jesus Christ absolve you, and with his authority vested in me, I absolve you from all of your sins, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Whoever does not provide for relatives, and especially family members, has denied the faith and is worse than an unbeliever. especially to those who belong to the family of faith. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy.
The Lord be with you. Let us pray. God, our Heavenly Father, you have blessed each of us with the gift of family, that through our family life we may learn to love and care for others. Open our eyes to recognize in all people the bonds of kingship. May we unselfishly serve them who with us have been made co-heirs with Christ. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Please be seated for our first reading. A reading from the book of Genesis. Then God said, let us make human beings in our image, after our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, the tame animals, all the wild animals, and all the creatures that crawl on the earth. God created mankind in his image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. God blessed them, and God said to them, be fertile and multiply. Fill the earth and subdue it. Have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and all the living things that crawl on the earth. God looked at everything he had made and found it very good. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please respond. Happy are those who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. Happy are those who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. Blessed are all who fear the Lord and who walk in his ways. What your hands provide, you will enjoy. You will be blessed and prosper. Happy are those who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. Your wife will be like a fruitful vine within your home. Your children like young olive plants around your table. Happy are those who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. Just so will the man be blessed who fears the Lord. May the Lord bless you from Zion. May you see Jerusalem's prosperity all the days of your life. Happy are those who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. The second reading is a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother. This is the first commandment with a promise, that it may go well with you and that you may have a long life on earth. Fathers, do not provoke your children to be anger, to anger, but bring them up with training and instruction of the Lord. Slaves, be obedient to your human masters with fear and trembling, in sincerity of the heart, as to Christ not only when being watched, as currying favor, but as slaves of Christ, doing the will of God from the heart, willingly serving the Lord and not human beings knowing that each will be required from the Lord for whatever good he does, whether he is slave or free. Masters, act in the same way towards them and stop bullying, knowing that, they, that both they and you have a master in heaven and that with him there is no partiality. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Observe, my son, your father's bidding, and reject not your father's teaching. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. When he was 12 years old, 
they went up according to festival custom. After they had completed its days, as they were returning, the boy Jesus remained behind in Jerusalem. But his parents did not know it. Thinking that he was in the caravan, they journeyed for a day and looked for him among their relatives and acquaintances. But not finding him, they returned to Jerusalem to look for him. After three days, they found him in the temple, sitting in the midst of the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions. And all who heard him were astounded at his understanding and his answers. When his parents saw him, they were astonished. And his mother said to him, Son, why have you done this to us? Your father and I have been looking for you with great anxiety. And he said to them, Why were you looking for me? Did you not know that I must be in my father's house? But they did not understand what he said to them. He went down with them and came to Nazareth and was obedient to them. And his mother kept all these things in her heart. And Jesus advanced in wisdom and age and favor before God and man. This is the gospel of the Lord. Why were you looking for me? Did you not know that I must be in my father's house? These words are taken from today's gospel according to St. Luke, in the name of the Father and of the Son of the Holy Spirit. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, once again we celebrate the wonderful solemnity of the Christian family, where we remember our families of origin and our extended families as well, and the importance thereof in how they became part of us and we a part of them and how we formed our lives. And we know that some families are different than others, and that's fine. They, some may be easier to get along with than others. I think that's true in every family. But there's a commonality, a bond that we share. No matter how strange or how close we may be, we'll always defend our family. And that's something very important to remember because God the Father is not just the Father of Jesus. He's our Father as well, which makes all of us a family. So just as our families are part of who we are, as Christians, we're part of the Christian family. And yes, we will bicker. Yes, we will not always agree. But we should love each other and support each other no matter what. Just as a family, as we think of it, nuclear family should do. As for me, for the first time, just a few days ago, I met my in-law's family for the first time, or my, my wife's family for the first time. I was nervous after so many years together not having met them. But it went beautifully. And we learn more about each other. And the more we know about a person's family and who they come from, the more we know about them. Maybe not from s embarrassing stories like are often told, but just how they react and interact with you. And again, we can extrapolate that to our Christianity, our Christian family. And know that all of us were made in God's image and likeness. We all share that common bond. So let us treat each other as family. And let us hold our families a little tighter than those who we are distanced from. Maybe they reach out. Use this as an annual reminder to do so. Because maybe that one time you do it, something will click once again. Why were you looking for me? Did you not know that I must be in my father's house? 
In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Let us now stand and turn to page 71 and say together the creed that unites us as Christians. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church, I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lord God, you fill our days with blessings in answer to our prayers. May we turn to you now in our need. And our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may ever more effectively lead the faithful to the true treasures of heavens. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the powerless caught in the crossfire of a brutal warfare in so many lands, that their unfathomable misery will be brought to an end and their hope reborn. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the battle for the protection of life from conception to natural death may be won through the conversion of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For freedom from attachments, that God will give us the courage to live with less and embrace our families, our neighbors, and the gift of each day more fully. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For a deeper awareness of the limits of power, beauty, fame, and wealth, that we learn to trust God, who alone fulfills all our needs and wants. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our beloved departed and those who will die today, that they receive the eternal life promised to them at baptism. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of those on the parish prayer list and all those suffering ailments in body, mind, and spirit, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions we hold deep in the silence of our hearts. And for whom this Mass is offered, for the repose of the soul of Alice Daugherty, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, we thank you for everything you have done for us. Help us to find in your holy word the source of truth and wisdom. We ask all these things through your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Grandchildren are the crown of old men, and the glory of children is their parentage.
thank you, Lord God, all creation, and your goodness with its bread to offer, truth is given, human hands have made that come for us the bread of life. Receive this offering, most holy Trinity, which we make in memory of the passion, resurrection, and ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ, and in honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary and all the saints. May they whose memory we honor on earth intercede for us in heaven. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Almighty Father, accept this offering from your whole family. Bless all your children with an obedient spirit. May each home which nurtures them be an image of your kingdom and the care of their parents, a likeness of your love. We ask this in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Father, all powerful and ever living God, we do well in we do well to sing your praises. Your, your work of creation brought forth life and crowned its goodness by creating the human family. You sent your son into the world to teach us the same the sanctity of human love and show us the value of family life. You call us to live in peace with you and one another and unite our families in peace and love. In our unending joy, we echo on earth the song of the angels in heaven in proclaiming your glory. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy Sacrifice of Mass and Tears of Eucharistic Prayer 2, which is found on page 82. We have thanks to you, God our Father, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, whom in these last days you have sent us as Savior, Redeemer, and Messenger of your will. He is your word, inseparable from you. Through him you have made all things, and in him you were well pleased. You sent him from heaven to a virgin's womb. There he dwelt and was made flesh. He was revealed as your Son born through the Holy Spirit and of the Virgin. When he suffered, he fulfilled your will and gained for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands to free from suffering those who believed in you. When he was betrayed to his freely chosen suffering, thereby to destroy death, to break the chains of darkness, to crush hell beneath his feet, to give light to the just, to make a covenant and to manifest his resurrection, he took bread, he gave you thanks and said, Take and eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. In like manner, he took the cup and said, This is my blood which is poured out for you. Whenever you do this, do it in memory of me. Together, calling then his death and resurrection to mind, 
we offer you the bread and the cup. We thank you for allowing us to come before you and to serve you. We ask you to send your Holy Spirit upon the offering of your holy church to gather all in unity. Grant to all who partake of these holy mysteries the fullness of the Holy Spirit for the strengthening of their faith in the truth. So may we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, may glory and honor be yours with the Holy Spirit in your holy church, now and forever and ever. Amen. Page 95, let us pray together with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior taught us. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. of blessing which we bless, is it not a participation in the blood of Christ? The bread which we break, is it not a participation in the body of Christ? Take this as one bread. We are many are one body, for we all partake of the one bread. May the union of divinity and humanity in Jesus Christ bring us sanctification and eternal life. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace. My peace I give you. Do not look at our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Let's say together the first communion prayer found on page 97. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to the world. By your holy body and blood, free me from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me faithful to your teaching and never let me be parted from you. I will take the bread of heaven and call upon the name of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you. Only say the word and I shall be healed. In the body of Christ, bring me to everlasting life. blood of Christ bring me to everlasting life. Amen. 
For those who are joining us online or who for personal reasons cannot receive the body and blood of Christ today, please join me now in the act of spiritual communion. Most loving Jesus, I adore you in the most blessed sacrament in which you are truly present. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart and heal my soul. I embrace you and unite myself with you. May I never be separated from you. Inflame my heart with the fire of your love, my Lord and Savior. Amen. This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to the table of the Lord. My child, do not forget my teaching, but let your heart keep my commandments. For length of days and years of life and abundant welfare they will give you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, as a family united in the Eucharist, we entrust your loving care and to your loving care and correction the members of our families, both near and far. Supply their needs, guide their steps. Keep them safe in body and soul, and may your peace rest upon us always. We ask this in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. The Lord be with you. 
May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Please join me now in the prayer of St. Michael. Holy Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. We are safe, God, against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And to you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, may the power of God cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who wander through the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, thank you so much for joining us for Holy Mass today. We pray that you have a wonderful rest of your weekend. Take care of yourselves, take care of each other. Remain in the state of grace, fight evil wherever you find it, spread joy and the word of God wherever you go. Say